We designed the building so that the exterior siding ran inside for a nice continuous look and we actually hid the door to the bathroom right here in the paneling. So as you can see in the bathroom, it's very simple. It's not a huge luxurious space, but it's very high functioning. What I like is that we did a little curtain down here. It feels kind of ship-like. Very basic plywood construction for the vanity and a freestanding sink on top of it, which was easy to install. We custom painted the finish here and did some beautiful handles just to give it a bit of sparkle. We have a slate shower, which picks up again on those really organic materials that you see outside, the stone for reference. And the highlight, of course, is our composting toilet here. There's actually tons of eco-friendly tips in this house, and I'm gonna show you a few more. The entire cottage is heated by this wood-burning stove. The building itself is winterized, so it retains the heat really well, but this is what does all the nuts and bolts of the work. So I'm constantly loading this up with firewood in the winter. One of the other things that's eco-friendly in this space are the actually the sliding doors. We have two massive sliding doors. This one here, which is made out of reclaimed wood, and then we have a glass one to the screen and porch. What's cool about those is that it allows you to heat the building in stages, and that's really efficient. Now the entire building is also running on solar power. So we have panels on the roof of the building. They run the fridge, they heat the water, uh, the panels run the composting toilet. So the solar power is a big part of our life here. The great thing about solar is that you make an investment up front, but we have no bills at all. So it's very easy to, to carry afterwards. We do all of our cooking on the barbecue outside, but we do have a stovetop inside and together, you, there really isn't a meal that you can't cook here at the cottage. They're completely efficient.